The Chevy Silverado has always been my personal American favorite truck. What is that sound? That's all the Ford and Ram owners ringing me to tell me that they're gonna unsubscribe now. Anyway, it's electrified now. So is this really worthy of the Silverado name? Obviously, electrification means a redesign. I think this looks great. Matt doesn't necessarily agree with me, but I think it looks better than the Ram Rev. That being said, you've got a long LED light bar up in the front and then obviously black body colored panel right here instead of a big old grill because you don't have an engine to cool. In there, you've got a 10.7 cubic feet front trunk or frunk, which actually when you open it up kind of looks like a bed also, which is fantastic. You've got grills here, which are made to cool the motor, and that's two motors, one in the front, one in the back, offering an all-wheel drive system. That does produce 745 horsepower and has a 10,000 pound towing capacity, which in comparison to the F-150 Lightning and the Ram Rev, isn't great. But I like Silverado's better, so let's continue. Coming down the side, you've got a very chevy yes design philosophy going on. I mean, the body lines, everything here, I mean, it looks very, very, GM. You've got the Silverado logo right there with a blue E, which is something that they've been doing in their EVs. In, in a lot of them, they electrify and blue the E and the V. Why not, right? Running boards, which are kind of plastic looking. I'm not really a fan of that look. And then down here on the rims, which do look very nice, you've got eight lug nuts. That suggests that this car or truck is pretty heavy. And then over by the end here, you've got your charging port, which does offer fast charging as well. This can charge 100 miles in just 10 minutes and a full total charge of 450 miles. That's not bad for a truck. The Silverado EV does have a five foot 11 inch bed, which means that on Tinder it would say it's six foot, but it does have something really cool that the other ones don't offer. Right in there is what they call the mid gate. That comes down, the seats come down, and all together would make a nine foot bed. That's huge. Hmm. Whoa. Let's talk about that. Wow. It is nice in here. I mean, leather steering wheel with a black trim piece right here. You've got a heated steering wheel, heated and ventilated seats, which are leather all the way around. You've got leather here on the center console, which also is pretty deep. It's got USB-C port in there and a nice little light for when you're in the dark. Piano black all through here leading to your wireless charger. More USB-C ports, dual zone climate, your big screen here, which is wireless Android Auto and Apple CarPlay and will have an update for the new Apple CarPlay, which integrates with your climate control and all that sorts of stuff. Digital gauge cluster, heads up display, all the stuff that you would really hope to see in a top trim vehicle. Bose sound system as well, which I've been told sounds pretty good. Panoramic sunroof, which then leads me to the back. You've got a lot of room back here. I mean, I'm not a tall person by any means of the word, but the amount of knee space I've got here, phenomenal. You've got space underneath the seat, which I can't seem to lift up. There we go, with your Bose sound system subwoofer right there. You've got heated seats back here. The panoramic sunroof obviously extends back here and it doesn't seem to have a shade, which to me suggests that it's got UV protectant built into the glass. This obviously all comes down because you need all of this space for that nine foot bed when you put the mid gate down and then the window will also latch. So is it worthy of being a Silverado? I think it is. We're here at the 2024 New York International Auto Show and we'll be here for the next two days. So make sure to subscribe to see all the content coming up because those over there are next.